So how do we overcome this roadblock of too many minds? First, we must take time for silence and solitude. Now, this may sound scary for some who don't like quiet. It may be even uncomfortable, but trust me, it is vital for our spiritual growth. Take a few minutes each day to simply sit in silence. Sit away from your distractions and listen for God's voice. Secondly, we must be intentional about training our minds to focus on his voice. And this can be done through reading his word and meditating on it and through prayer and worship and through seeking godly counsel and fellowshipping in godly community. And finally, we must remember that God's voice speaks through our thoughts, our intuition, and even through others. It may not always be a booming voice in the sky, but if we're attuned to his presence, we'll be able to discern his voice in our lives. And this brings me to another roadblock. The statement mirror, mirror on the wall comes from the Disney movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. In the movie, the evil queen asks her a magic mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And the mirror usually replied, my queen, you are the fairest in the land. However, one time the mirror tells the truth about another maiden in the forest who is actually fairer. (laughs) Of course, this was unacceptable to the queen and therefore she took negative action in an attempt to hinder the truth. (laughs) One of the many functions of the Bible for us as believers is that of a mirror. We see in it to see or gauge how well we are conforming to the image of God. Today, too many believers are using our mirrors just to hear when it proclaims, you are the fairest of them all, that God is blessing you and wants to bless you and will bless you and how you are a blessing and so on and so forth. But then we cover the mirror up by closing the pages and planking and placing a blanket of our desires, our egos, our plans, our beliefs, and our opinions over it. When it doesn't declare that we're the fairest of them all, when it speaks of our dark places, our dark thoughts and actions, our missing the mark, our sins, our weaknesses, our shortcomings, our failures. 